Hey, y'all. I told y'all I was going to post this. I was live this morning. But by the time I went live, I had already put these braids in. This is my girl, April. She's been letting me do her hair since 2016, 2017. All she get is these crochets. Back then, crochets, it was hot, baby. They was, had came back. Y'all remember when they first got hot? Like I say, around about 97, 98-ish. Somewhere up in there, they got hot again around that time. I had, I didn't never put them in before. I never knew. Even though I did braids and stuff, I never put them in. So my neighbor had did them for me. And from that day on, I had been doing other people's and I did mine. I just needed to see somebody do it. So, but right now, it's 2024. going to be 2025. These faded out maybe a couple of years ago. So I got a feeling they're going to be back within this before 2025 is up. You know why? Because they cheat if you get the right one. Because all crochet styles are not created equal. Just know that. I do not charge the same amount for every crochet head that I do. That's why I only do selected styles for certain people. I am pretty much retired. I don't advertise. I'm not doing it. I'm not standing up more than an hour. And I'm grateful that I can still stand up and do hair as well as I can. Uh, I'm grateful that I can still move around and dance. That's why I do the content I do. I ain't taking none of this for granted, okay? Y'all remember that sofa eight? That's that yarn. I braid people hair. When I do crochets, I braid y'all hair with acrylic yarn. That acrylic yarn is going to hold on to every piece of moisture that I put on her hair. Okay? Whatever oils she put on her hair, I put on her hair. That yarn is going to hold on to it, which is going to keep her hair moisturized this whole six weeks. That's about how long she keeps these in. Sometimes four, but for the most part, it might be six to eight weeks. And like I said, all crochet styles are not created equal. It depends on the hair you use. Now, for this type of hair she's using, it's got a lot of volume in it. And so you don't need a whole bunch of braids. Because the more braids you put in the person's hair, the more hair you're going to have to put in the head to cover all them braids. And depending on the texture, the uh, density of it, you might have too much hair. So she got uh, crochet hair that's called Wan Curl from Amazon. It might not call it Wan Curl on there, but I'm going to show y'all how the hair look. Just in case you want somebody to do your hair like this for the winter. I think it's something great to wear. It's like having a hair hat. It, uh, you spritz it really, really well. Now, if you're the type of person that want to wear like faux locks or box braids or two-strand twists, you get that, and you're still not going to need no whole lot of braids. You might need more than this amount of braids that I'm doing for her, but you won't need no 15, 25 braids. And uh, I end up doing eight braids for her at the front, and those two in the back you see going across her neck, that's it. And y'all going to see why once you see the completed hairstyle, how it look, okay? Like I said, I don't do this for everybody. I pretty much, when the COVID came around, I stopped doing people hair because I didn't want to get sick. And I didn't want to make nobody sick. So I, don't, I didn't really do it no more. And if I did, it was just for one, two people. Um, and then after my daughter passed away, I really stopped. I mean, I remember right after my daughter passed away, this lady had came up. She had kept calling my phone. I didn't recognize her by the name, the number, or none of that. And I got an answer. She didn't leave a message. And I think I ended up answering maybe a day or two later, letting her know what happened. And uh, she kept asking me to do her hair, though. Like, I didn't just tell you my daughter passed away. Do y'all know that lady knocked on my door? I heard my daughter tell her that I'm not here. Why would you do the People, it's crazy. I am not lying. People are. Mm, mm, mm. But that's another topic for another day. We'll get into that on another video. But I pretty much wanted y'all to see the journey of how I do it. For her hair for this style now my other client she gets the same type of uh braid foundation how i'm braiding this just eight braids i'd only do one braid in the back of her head but i think i might start doing two now as y'all see as i go on i'm gonna have some net because some people use the net to like sew hair on top of it to make the hair fuller if the hair is thinning in certain places but being that these are crochets she had to get a certain type of net with holes in it my other client got the same net but the holes wasn't big enough so i couldn't do it i just had to go and put in her own hair like i did as y'all see it's coming along but at the front when you can't see it that's where it's thin at so i'm gonna take a square piece of black net and i'm gonna measure it and i'm gonna sew it right there at the front of the first three braids and it might be like maybe three inches thick. Yep. So that's what I'm doing right here, y'all. 
This is my last braid, I do believe. I do believe this is my last braid for her before I go on. Now, after I do all this, she comes with it clean. I'm not washing no hair. This is not a salon. I'm not doing all that. And the prices are very cheap. So, you know, I pretty much don't even consider charge. I just call it a donation because I am retired and I don't do hair, so I don't charge. I used to have raffles, and I would give these stuff away for free. All they had to do was bring their own hair. And the raffle ticket may have been cost like $10. And with the $10, you get 10 tickets. But you had to get 10. And then if I had five or more people get in it, it would be worth it, blah, blah, blah. That's how I did that. And when people got in, it was the ones who lived close to me. Unfortunately, everybody can't do it because they're not in your neighborhood. Who's going to travel for a crochet style? <laughs> or even a braid style. Now, I know some people that do go to people that's, you know what I'm saying, got their name in lights, you know what I'm saying? Really do some good work and they will travel. They get on a plane to go get their hair done. But them people are like big, big time. They got a lot of bookings and they charge a lot of money and they really, really gifted. And now I think they deserve it. That's great. I never want to be that because I only do hair when I feel like it. And like if they was to text me like, before she, she, you know, are you free this day or that day? And she give me a day to choose from. And if it's all good, I'll choose, okay? Let's do that day because I know I'm going to feel like it. I'm not the type of person you can just call me or text me and say, can I come over and you do my hair? Nope. Sure can. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, y'all, have y'all seen it? Y'all see how, how it looks? It got some formation. This type of style that you could just throw a hat on and go to the store, or throw a scarf on, whatever. But, yeah, this is the basic foundation. And But she's tender-headed, so I have to be very careful not to do too tight. And uh, and I, when I get done with that last braid, I'm going to take that crochet hook. And I'm going to put it through there and pull through the hair. And then once I get it through a couple of times, I'm going to take the yarn that's at the end of the braid and take it around, loop it underneath the braid, take it loose, take another part of the yarn, put it under the braid, take the crochet needle. And then I'm going to take both pieces of all three pieces. How many pieces there is? And I'll make it flat as possible. And I'm going to tie knots, like three, four knots in it so it don't come loose. And then I'm going to start sewing that net at the top of her head. Now, once I get all this done, this take about, if I had to guess, I'll say this this whole procedure here, it'll take about 35, 40 minutes, give or take. The hardest part is threading that needle. The, needle, the thread keep on splitting apart. But, yeah, y'all, stay tuned for the next part. Coming right up.